Hello and welcome back to Case of Quietness. So last time we got shot by butterflies, very, very mean butterflies, and uh, well, we die. <laughs> Let's just try one more time, shall we? So I might cut this episode a little bit, because I know typically I don't cut the episodes very often, because I, I want to show you guys the whole experience, take the whole journey and see what we show up, but I can understand getting kind of fatigued with watching the first couple of seconds of this adventure every time. So. If nothing exciting happens, I might just, you know, take a cut out of it and jump back into where things are exciting again. In any case, looks like Mehmet is not very popular with bears, so we don't really want to make friends with him. And Warden Ularog is not very happy with the highly attractive beings or the swine. So he's not a very highly attractive being at all, is he? <laughs> Sorry, entropic. Is left by Snapjaws and the village of Tawar. So none of, the, none of the villagers are very happy, good people, and that's unfortunate. Might just have to not make friends with them. But I would like to learn how to harvest food, so maybe I'll make friends with Mehmet. He's probably the least damaging to our reputation. Let's see. Yes. Those swine are a lot more friendly, a lot more threatening than Snapjaws are, so maybe it's a better idea to, you know, <laughs> Make friends with them rather, rather than Snapjaws, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Either way, both those factions already don't like us, so it doesn't matter too much in terms of, well, how things are going. But maybe the farming pigs will start to hate us, I don't know. We'll see. Cl classic secret? Let's see if we got, got the store. Buy some bullets, okay. Got a lot of water skins, got absolutely no... Absolutely no artifacts, which sucks. Okay, we're gonna have to go buy something else from this guy. The scaled cloth robe is pretty good, let's go ahead and buy that as well as... Let's take a look at the long sword. Let's see here. At a remote tavern in the five-sided worshipping precinct of... Nailirook, Use found an artifact that evoked the presence of a foreign map. She needed the brother of map. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Uh, copper nuggets. Water skins. He doesn't have any artifacts? I didn't find any artifacts, and, and Tam doesn't have any either. That's weird. Okay. So we're going to have to play this, well, a little more carefully than before. So we don't have anything to really, well, <laughs> turn in. We could turn in our revolver, maybe, but I don't think that's a good idea. In any case, let's buy some bullets, sell this, sell the torches, don't need any of these, it's got like a mashed lag, whatever that is, buy the robe, sell these clubs, I'm not sure why I'm carrying them around to begin with, staff, the iron sword is the only thing that will be worth it, as well as these nuggets, I guess I could take one, offer, bam, 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 okay, trading is done, let's equip our new robe, there we go, ah, we're now friendly with reptiles, at least a little bit more than we were before. But if we didn't find the artifacts in town, we're gonna have to go find some somewhere else. Meaning we might want to head up to Red Rock anyway and see if we can loot anything halfway decent over there. Let's see here. From the life of the ancient Sultan Koyurum. Deep in the snowflake worshipping precinct of Miva, Koyurum stumbled upon an ancient clan of antelopes performing a secret ritual. Because of her freezing eyes, they furiously rebuked her and declared her a villain of their kind. Ah, so she's not very friendly with antelopes, huh? So we've got a slimy uh, marsh. Nothing too dangerous here if we don't take it slowly. Well, if we take it slowly, we don't get attacked by slimes, and we should hopefully be fine. Actually, killing a slime would be a good idea, so let's take a look around and see if we can find one. I don't see any just yet. Oh, there's one. It's attacking something. Let's let them fight and pick off the weaker one. Which apparently is going to be the slime is the weaker one. What? I thought the... I could have sworn that dragonflies were weaker than that. Okay. Maybe just got ganged up on. Who knows? Let's see here. Okay, we made it to Red Rock. That's great. In fact, let's see where the shrine is. Pretty far away. Okay. Let's try and make our way to Red Rock and just start diving. It's very dangerous to do this at level 1, but it's... It's just going to be what we're going to do, because... I'm not too worried if we die just yet. If we find something shiny, that's great. If we don't, that's not great, but whatever. We'll handle it. Okay, so here's the door. Let's jump on in. 
it is not blocked off this time. I only have a dog down here, which is great. Dog and a bat, too. Okay. Some water. Nothing threatening just yet. We have Beguile, so if we run into anything incredibly dangerous, we can hopefully have a chance of making it our friend and then negating its danger. Oh, it's just dead end. A lot of trash down here, but nothing too threatening otherwise. There's water. Which, I'm not sure why this is here. A lot of water, actually. And a seed spitting vine. Okay. Freeze. There we go. Back off. He can't shoot me from around this corner. However, the dog actually already ate it. Okay. Huh. Well, aren't we in luck? And we found a water skin full of water. Okay. Wow. We are in serious luck today. Would you look at that? I guess I'll take it, right? Let's see what we have. Nothing else here. Okay. Let's see if we can hunt down any of the enemies that we can actually take on. There we go. We still have a Kimbo activated, so we're using both at twice the normal rate. However, it's probably better for right now at level 1 to just be going guns or blazing, you know? Especially if there's enemies shooting at us, too. But from the looks of it, we're on a pretty safe floor. Let's just go ahead and go downstairs and see what's next. Very small floor, too. Weird. Nothing around the corner. Okay, let's keep walking. We want to get rid of the Jilted Lover. It should be a free, like, 25 experience points just by doing a little tap dance and blasting it with a little ice. Ice baby. There we go. So, we're in the clear for now. Let's keep walking. And we found the staircase already. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Okay. Now we're talking. Now at the level I would be if I defeated the evil Lord Mehmet. <laughs> I mean, uh, Argive in brain combat. Got our, you know, got him an artifact or two. Form of these plants, so we can just do a little tap dance and hopefully not get killed by a spider or two. We just saw over there. Oh wow, okay, the spider is not very happy with the. Centipede, which is weird. I could have sworn those guys were our friends. Actually, I think arachnids are their own species, you know? Not not the same as insects. Just strange. I mean, in real life that makes sense, but in this game, I could have sworn they were all insects, so it feels weird to see them attack each other. There's a spider over there. We kind of want to kill the spider if we can get the free experience points for it. There we go. Yeah, 50 XP is 50 XP, you know? And at this point, where I can die pretty quickly, with our 22 hit points, I'm just going to take the experience where we can get, get it, you know? What is this? Is that, a, is that a water wheel? Why is there a water wheel down here? I guess I could examine this. The millstone, okay. Like to function as part of a mechanical transmission system and mechanical power, okay. Let's go ahead and examine this. It is a water wheel, okay. We were kind of already knew that, but you know. This contraption is broken. Uh, wooden machinery. Oh, well. That's good. Transfers power between two locations, but it's currently off because it broke, I guess. Huh. Okay. I've never seen that before. Was that always in Red Rock? I don't remember that being there. There's civilization in Red Rock. That's really weird. Freezing, right? Do a little dance. No, dog, please. Oh. See, if the ex dog kills it, the dog gets experience points, not us. And that's not really what you want. Uh-oh. Whew. I'm good. I'm glad we're alive. I didn't see him pop up on me. One attribute point. We're going to throw it to Ego. Get some more brain power and skill points as well. Let's see here. Got skills. Do you take this pistol? No. If you want to take tactful, so... Our you make friends faster and enemies slower. There we go. Okay. I don't see any eggs lying around. It'd be a great way to farm experience points on eggs if we could do it. However, uh, there's a spider around the corner. I don't really want to get into that web if I can avoid it. Because I'd probably die to the spider. Unless I can pull the trigger fast enough. Uh, okay, I don't see the spider anywhere. So I guess the spider decided to just keep going. It's fine by me. Oh, that's quite a line of foes. 
All right, I guess I'll take that. Get stuck in the web again. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Freezing rank. You see, if you let it auto aim at the at the plant from here, it actually hit the wall instead of the plant. But if you aim a little bit farther ahead and hit the empty space behind it, it'll actually hit the plant because it's in the way. Ooh, look at that. I'll take that. Good. We found some books. We found some floor cushions, a torch knot, and a bizarre artifact. What is going on here? Was this always here in Red Rock? I don't remember this. Bartham Clock. Uh, let's see. Bartham's invention records time through the momentary tick of re by regulating its advance with the crown wheel. On learning of its utility, the water barons commissioned the assembly of dozens more in order to take precise measurements of their reservoirs at the set moments of the day. Okay. Interesting. Water barons. By the way, water barons don't apparently exist just yet. I'm not sure if they're going to be implemented anytime soon. Maybe they actually already have been, but as far as I'm aware, water barons don't actually exist. They're just, you know, the fabled rich people that don't actually live. Fresh corpse with a, I think, gun? Wow, that's actually a lot of stuff here. Chris and a musket. Okay. We've got a full-blown, like, civilization down here. That's weird. I've never seen it like this before. All right, I mean, that. talk about exciting, huh? Interesting. Why don't they make a, a rework of Red Rock? Oh, boy. Freezing right. Uh-huh. Well, you're dead, and so are you. In that case, now that we're at level, what? Uh, akimbo, and not use all our bullets. Corpse, and... Oop. Uh oh. Hmm. Ah, he's got cover by the wall there. Hmm, I'm gonna need to freeze him. Reload, fire, fire, and he's dead. Good. How many bolts have we got? 249? We're not really that well worn out yet, but again, you don't want to be using your bullets if you don't have to. Always use your replenishable equipment first. Like Freezing Ray, because we can just cast Freezing Ray and, you know, so on and so forth. Bones, Iron Mace, Iron Mace not worth anything. Oh, hello. Were you there that entire time? Now you're not. And it's time to leave. Oh. Are you going to help me, dog? I hope so. I don't like this. Okay, we're, we're fine. I think with the first artifact we found, we should just go ahead and leave and just make our way up to to Argive in Joppa and just turn in the one artifact we did find, you know? It's kind of a schlep, I guess, but it's better than dying. And I'm going to try to take this a little bit more cautiously because Red Rock is a very, very dangerous. A lot more so than the other location... The, uh, the rust wells. And even still, in the rust wells, you can easily die, so... <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna take my time. Play it more too carefully. and Take it by... Take it by ear. Alright. Tam does not have any equipment for us. However, we should find out if our guy has anything good. Especially now that we have some decent stuff on us. Here we go. I've got an artifact for you, my friend. Let's give you your artifact. Oh, I should play. I should probably identify it first. Let's see what we got. It's... Nano... What now? A nano what now? I'm not sure. A nano pneumatic jet jackhammer? Is that good? Replace the cell. Remove it. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Huh. A colossal jackhammer. Okay. We're not very strong, so we probably can't wield it very good. But we could definitely turn it in for cash or maybe... Wow, actually a high-capacity physics cell. This is some good stuff. Well, what are we dealing with here? Let's, let's trade first and see what he's got. Because a jackhammer sounds pretty useful. The capacity, the high-capacity physics cell is definitely good. 1960. It's not that great. Okay, I could turn that in, probably. But the fidget cell I'm going to hold on to because we probably want the power. Hey, 
There we go. Okay, we're back, I think. Yeah, good. Sorry about that. I'm not sure when I hit the, uh, the microphone, but I guess it turned off for a second there. Anyway, we turned in our jackhammer and we should be fine. Our Tam still doesn't have any stuff to trade, really, but we can try and buy some uh, nuggets, I guess, and water skins. Why not? All for the sake of a future, you know? They want to invest in our future. And we can do that by selling all this extra crap we don't need. Beetle jerky, which is bark, desert press, there we go. Sell all these muskets. We have an agate gemstone? Let me get that. Holy crap, that's valuable. Okay. Offer, we get, get rid of some of the water we have. We have plenty of water as it is, so let's just take that. And maybe head back into Red Rock. We have a 75 free experience points, which is not a huge amount, but it should be enough to help us push into the next levels a little faster than before. Alright, I think there's nothing too threatening along the way, so we should just heal and keep going. Head on down. I'm very, very glad there's no baboons along the way, because baboons are mean. If we can kill enough snap jaws, we might be able to get our hands on the bloody rings, which will make our reputation with baboons a lot higher. Though, I do find it a little weird how the baboons themselves don't actually carry them, as far as I'm aware. Also, what the heck happened here? Studied leather armor, that's somewhat valuable. The steel battle axe probably worth more. What do we got here? A. A monkey braid. I guess that's worth something, maybe. Lacquered like short bow. I guess I'll take that. And that, and that, and that. Okay, we can... Oh, hello. There's a lot of snapshots down here. That's good or bad. I'm not really sure. Freezing rate. I think they're bleeding right now. Let's try and... Oh. Whew. Kill off our enemies first. There we go. And see what we can get. Increase. Freezing array up to level 3. Very, very nice. And skill points. I don't think we have anything really you want to get just yet. So let's go ahead and grab this painted dagger, which is nice. Get us some free stuff. Let's see. He's painted with the scene from the life of the ancient sultan, Arta Yuran. Arta Yuran, moment in Cerulean. The Cerulean sorrow on Narsipar. The Cerulean wraith died of natural causes. She was 92. Okay. Get that. Okay. Nice. Which would bark... Other gloves, okay. The gloves actually might help a bit. Uh, nah. Well, this will give me one dodge. I'm not sure if it's really worth it, but one dodge is better than nothing, right? Oh, I missed. Darn. Black bark armor, irons, weapons, worth a little small chunk of cash. Why not, right? I'm gonna freeze him first. Again, don't use your bullets if you don't have to. Now, for the looks of things, that my freezing ray is just not powerful enough to really take care of these guys in a prompt manner. Oh, what's that? That looks like something valuable. I wanted to actually examine it first before taking it, but I guess we just grabbed it. What have we got? It's an airfoil glitter grenade. Okay, well, that's what we're gonna apply. Turn into our guy. Got some free experience for, huh? There we go, look at that, huh? Get the dagger. Shoot you. Loot the chests. Get the free musket, which is very heavy. I'm probably gonna have to loot these and turn around. There's a lot of snap jaws down here. I think it's probably a good idea just to... Uh oh Reload. Oh, man. Whew. Let's see what we got here. Nothing much. Okay, well, I just got shots. Okay, let's back off. I don't think we're going to be bothering with this anytime soon. Let's just go ahead and leave and make our way over to Joppa to sell all the crap we just picked up. Honestly, when it comes to Red Rock, especially with doing it this early, I think it's a good idea to just take our time, loot what we can, and try to come back with better stuff every each time. Oh, I'm famished, huh? Well, I'll see if I can find a corpse along the way. We might not be able to. Oh, there's one down here. Good. A bat corpse. Okay. Didn't know the bats didn't like dogs or other way around. Either case, we got them. We're dead. Time to just go ahead and walk back to Joppa. We should hopefully be fine. I don't think there's, again, anything in the way. 
mostly just, you know, plants. There might be, like, a slime here somewhere, but if we went in a straight line, we might be able to just avoid encountering it. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to our guys. Hello. Here's your artifact. It's going to be a air folder grenade. Sweet. And take the wire quest. Good. At this point, though, it might be better just to go for the wire quest. I don't know. Where's my equipment? Inventory, there we go. Got leather gloves, it gives me a little bit of armor. I should equip that if I have the chance. Face, right hand. Where's the gloves? Oh, I can't, I can't wear gloves, though. <laughs> Duh, I forgot about that. Um, in any case, an iron longsword will probably do us some decent damage. I mean, a short sword, actually. Uh, but I think we're good otherwise. Now you can buy one of the artifacts that Argive has. Let's train. Let's see here. Sell the gloves. Not too bad. A lot of the fidget cell. Sell the daggers. We've got plenty of these. Iron axe. All these other things. Uh, like a short bow. Muskets. Short bows. Muskets not worth much more than the short bows are, which is odd. We've got a toolkit. I'm not sure if it's really worth buying a toolkit right now. We're not really, you know, tinkerers. Though we will eventually try and get that far. I think maybe... <sighs> it's better than carrying around water. We have plenty of water. We don't need to carry around a whole ton of it. Okay. Let's make our way over to the desert, shall we? Or the hill, anyway, not the desert. The desert is really nasty, and I don't want to deal with that if I don't have to. Nothing special on either of the borders. I think these are asphalt, so we might be able to find something shiny around here. Though I'm not guaranteeing that... I gotta guess this asphalt arch it means there should be some more uh, up north as well. Let's take a look. You gotta be careful, of course. If you set fire to this area, it will burn for a very long time and spread heat out everywhere, which is not great if you're trying to not get set on fire. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to cool ourselves down with freezing array. Just, you know, hitting yourself with your own attack is not the best idea. Is this. Oh, he's neutral. Hello. Because of our scaled robe, we're actually neutral with reptiles, which is fine by me. Which means we won't be attacked by horned chameleons or crocodiles anymore. <laughs> Might still be killed by mimics, though, and that's dangerous. It's kind of weird to think a mimic is a reptile, but if you think about it like it's a, it's a kind of a weird chameleon, then you kind of have the right approach there. Uh, I'm not sure if basilisks are going to attack us. They might even automatically attack us if we get too close, but luckily for us, basilisks are pretty easy to avoid. Just don't get anywhere near any of the statues, and you should be fine. Uh, got a lot of snap jaws here. We're going to go ahead and... Let's see here. Freezing ray you. There we go. Beguile you. Hopefully get to replace you later. Oh. We probably take this guy in melee because our teammate is backing us up. Well, they were really not taking advantage of their uh, team-based strategies. If you don't know, Snapjaws have this ability called, I think, Pack Tactics or something like that, where if they get together and attack you <laughs> all at once, they deal more damage per each individual creature attacking. It's kind of like how kobolds work and other small creatures in D&D, so you got to be careful about letting them get too close to you. Or letting too many get too close to you anyway. One or two is not going to kill you. Ooh, hey, you got Caucasians as well. Okay. So what we really, really want to get our hands on is scale Caucasians. Because Caucasians are already made out of, well, crocodile scales. But if we can get scaled versions, that gives us, like, I think, 350 uh, reputation with crocodiles and other reptiles, which is great. Because reptiles are not the most common creators, but they're usually pretty dangerous. Especially if you get farther in the game and you face off against dragons. Or I think they're called something else, like fire, beard, something really that. I never really made that far myself, but I have encountered a few through portal usage. <laughs> to say I was glad to be friends with reptiles at those times, you know? However, one of the more dangerous and more common enemies you can run into is a Quetzalcoatl, or whatever it's actually called. It's, it's a flying snake, which counts as both a bird and a snake, so if you're not friends with both of them, you're just gonna have to deal. <laughs> and it's really not good because they can breathe fire. But in any case, goggles, thank you. If we can get our hands on some scaled stuff, we should be pretty 
well in hand of taking care of that. Along with feathered goods, too. Because feathered and scaled is a great way to make friends with... Well, Quetzalcoatls. Feel bad to turn on our... Snapjaw Brute, but oh well, he's just gonna have the deal. Is he stunned? Something? Oh, he's neutral to us. Weird. Bagal used to make them hostile to me, but I guess they're just neutral now. And we actually just scored a really big time just now. Not only did we get a weird artifact, but we got a painted version of a beaded bracelet. Now, a beaded bracelet is worth a decent chunk of money, but a painted version is worth twice as much for no extra weight, which is wild. Dagger, we're gonna replace the cell, there we go. Bronze dagger's really not worth it, but oh, oh. oh we got a, a cabin. Long sword, go ahead and grab whatever this is. Sandals, we don't need sandals. Well, that can help us anyway. Grab these, oh, grab that and that, there we go. Grab this and this, there we go. Our Snapjaw Warlord is significantly more powerful than basically every other enemy in the Snapjaw line, so we should be fine just to walk around with the one in our, in our pocket. Now, the most powerful enemy actually here in the, in the hills, I think, is actually the Equimax. They're not hostile, but look, look at this. Very tough, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fight these if you don't have to. Though they are pretty easy to kite and just deal with if you can encounter like maybe one or two at a time. Though, that's not guaranteed. You also got to remember that Ecomaxes are both um, antelopes as well as grazing hedonists. And because dragonflies are also grazing hedonists, grazing hedonists as well as insects, they will fight alongside the antelope. Meaning, if you get caught by a dragonfly and not able to move past it, you can get surrounded by Ecomaxes and die. So, you know, be careful. There. Oh, we're actually losing that battle. Here, let me help him out. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> you did it, Snapjaw Warlord. You're brutal, brutally brutalized, but you know what? We solved that problem. Freeze. There we go. Free experience points. Free experience points. I feel kind of bad about snapping Jilted Lovers because... They can't do anything about me shooting them, <laughs> but I don't care. I don't care enough to not do it, you know. The experience points, I need that to live. After all, the more health I have, the less likely I am to die, and, you know, so on and so forth. Now, because we're actually neutral reptiles, that, uh... Ooh. It's a gentling cone, so you don't want to wear that. You are forced to wear... You're forced to never take it off if you put it on, so don't wear a gentleman cone. It's not a good idea. It's kind of like the uh, cones you'd put on a horse, I think it is, when they get mad. And you can't take it off yourself if you put it on, so don't do it. Uh, let's see here. I'm kind of over-encumbering. Do I have the skill points to... I can start tinkering, but I can't start dissembling, so we don't... We're going to have to drop something or get our friend something to equip. In any case, I think it's actually best to give our companion here a two-handed sword. So let's go ahead and do that. Two-handed sword. Offer. Bam. Look at that. Now they're going to wield a two-handed sword. Actually, are they? What are they wearing? They have a two-handed sword. Are they? Oh, they already had one. Huh. Yeah, see, minus one ego cannot be removed, but because of the feathering on it, it gives us a reputation of birds. It's not a good idea to put one on because they give you no benefits, only negatives. Do you want to take everything here? No. Whew. That dragonfly just destroyed that chameleon. I'm surprised about that. Dragonflies, by the way, are a bit stronger than you might think they are, just because they spend most of their time flying and are usually, you know, neutral to you. In any case... I think today, despite my misgivings of uh, starting Joppa again, actually was pretty exciting. We got a lot of things happening. We found a lot of really nice stuff. Found some stuff I've never seen before. And, like, Red Rock seems to have changed a bit since I last played it. So, all in all, good time. At least the one we encountered anyway. Maybe it doesn't really change that much. Who knows? One, two, okay. That's not good. We don't want to freeze our own guy. There we go. We should be able to freeze these two. Like so. Yeah, freezing array. Perfect. 
actually you want to unlock. You want to manually shoot your guns whenever you can. Whew. And you know what? How about we call that there? We made some progress. We actually did some decent diving in Red Rock, unlike last time. <laughs> and I think we are got a fairly solid start here. We can find a more reliable companion than our warlord here, or maybe just, you know, improve our beguiling ability. We should have a really solid and easy coast through the early game. In any case, I hope you had a wonderful adventure on your own time, and may you find plenty of water, my friend. Live and drink. So long!